everybody, we will be discussing briefly structural functionalism. The origins of this theory are with Herbert Spencer, but was later improved upon by Talcott Parson and Robert Merton. Spencer envisioned society as an organism who has a body with many parts. The parts of the system are related together by their function. The parts of the body include family, legal system, political system, health care, leisure, religion, education, military, and economy. Some very basic points of structural functionalism is that society is a stable, well-integrated system that is continually striving to reach equilibrium. Changes in one part of the system affects all others. Each part of the society has other functions besides their main functions. This then means that there are manifest functions, latent functions, and dysfunctions. Manifest functions are obvious and intended. Latent, and fu latent functions are unobvious, unintended, and most often unrecognized. For every function, there is necessarily a dysfunction. A dysfunction is that which disrupts equilibrium depending on perspective. An example of this lies with uh, military, which is one of the parts of society. The manifest function of the military is simply to wage war. War can have latent functions such as increases in taxes, increase military industrial output, provide a platform for politicians, strain resources, increase business for funeral homes, increase the need for grief counselors. Now for increases in taxes, it's obviously functional for the government because it increases uh, revenue. However, it's dysfunctional for the taxpayers who have to shell out more cash to the government. Increase in military industrial output is functional obviously for the factory owner, but it may be very dysfunctional for factory workers. Um, they may have to work longer hours with minimal additional pay or actually may be laid off due to an automations replacing their jobs. Um, war may also uh, provide a platform for political, for politicians. Uh, this is probably functional for uh, the politician who has the more popular view of the war so he can get elected because of it and is dysfunctional for the politician who has the less positive popular view of the war and war can be a often a discerning factor in the outcome of an election. Uh, the strain of resources obviously for those who sell them they can do so at a higher cost due to the resources becoming more scarce um, it's dis obviously dysfunctional for the buyer because they have to buy those resources at a much higher rate than usual. Uh, increase for increased business for funeral homes. Uh, those who own the funeral homes, of course, it's going to be functional for, but it may be dis dysfunctional for those who need their services because of uh, loved ones who died in the war. Um, funeral homes can be expensive and it's just not a good process. Increase the need for grief counselors. This is obviously functional for those who need grief counselors, but may be dysfunctional for those who are grief counselors because they may have a larger number of clients as usual and may be overwhelmed because of that. And that is all. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.